Homeboy was just talking about the law of attraction. That shit is so real, man. Whatever we focus on, that's what we attract to our life. If we're thinking about the right things, the right things come to our life. But when we negative, dwelling on the wrong shit, we just attract more of the wrong shit into our life. So, man, I really believe thoughts become things for real. I believe in going where you celebrate it, not where you tolerate it for real. Jesus couldn't even perform miracles in his hometown because they didn't believe in it. So sometimes you got to go where you celebrate it, not where you tolerate it so you can flourish. Too many times we ignore the people who adore us and adore the people who ignore us. We overlook and take for granted the people who see our gifts, the people who understand our uniqueness. Meanwhile, we trying to impress and please somebody who will never be impressed and pleased by you. Some people ain't going to like you no matter what you do or don't do. And so I always say, man, go where you celebrate it, not where you tolerate it for real. Somebody really want to do something, they'll find a way. And if they don't want to do something, they're going to find an excuse every single time, for real. When you try to do something great in this world, you need energy. And having the wrong people around you will suck the energy and the life right out of you. And you want to reach your destination because you got this extra baggage with you. Trying to change somebody who don't want to change. You trying to inspire somebody who just refused to be inspired. Trying to motivate an uninspired, ungrateful person will kill you and drain your energy. The energy you need to run your race. For real, that's baggage, bro. You can't run this marathon and your journey with this extra baggage. They ain't going to push you forward. They ain't going to help you go forward. Only thing they going to do is take, take take and only thing you do is give 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 and you be drank and you don't have no energy to run your race for real time is one of the most valuable things we have for real you could tell how somebody value you by how they value your time shit man you could waste money always make more money but when you waste your time it's gone forever for sure i learned man just get started don't overthink the shit just get started and don't think about building a wall lay one brick down just take one step step by step and that's how you build something great for real and that's what everything man that's what a career with a relationship uh being a parent anything man just take the first step and just take step by step man don't think of the death don't wait to everything perfect to make a move but just get started for real cast off is being who you are even when it's unpopular when your thoughts and what you stand for is different in the crowd and i'm a cast off it ain't just something I wear. It ain't just something I say. It's a lifestyle. It's a mindset. It's a way of life. And so I started a clothing line to represent the cast offs. Not even a clothing line. I just started pressing cast off and the meaning on t-shirts and stood on the corner of Belmont Avenue and selling them. Selling them all day, going through hundreds, reordering, going through hundreds. And then I start posting people from my neighborhood wearing the shirts. And then people who was fans of my music start saying, oh, I want a cast off shirt. I'm a cast off. And then I set up a website. Now I'm shipping them to Missouri, shipping them to California, Chicago, all over the country. And now I realize I got a full-fledged business and call it cast off wear. Then I created the Southside Edition. And it just took off. I really made that for my neighborhood, not knowing Chicago got a Southside, Atlanta got a Southside. And now I sell more out of town than I do in my hometown. For real. The we don't take self-accountability is the day we take ourselves off the hook. And we ain't even trying to change no more. We ain't even trying to do better because it's everybody else's fault. No matter what I do, I can't get it done because it's their fault. And that's that weak shit, man. That's how 80% of men think. But the moment all of us men hold ourselves self-accountable for our kids, for our communities, for who we are, is the day that we get better because it's nobody else's fault. It's all on us. And that's man shit to me. Michael Jordan couldn't blame the referees why he didn't beat the Pistons. What he had to do is he went the right woman got stronger. He ain't blame Horace Grant. He ain't blame Bill Cartwright. He ain't had no help. He got better. He worked harder. And so if he had to blame the referees or blame Bill Cartwright or Scottie Pippen or anybody else, he wouldn't have took the accountability to make himself better. One thing I learned, you can't change people. You cannot change people. You could change a person's environment. You could change a person's clothes. You could change a hair. You could change a person's bank account. But if that person hasn't made up their mind, they tired of thinking and being the way they are and they don't change their mindset, they're going to be that same person in a different location, in a different relationship. So one thing I learned, man, you cannot change people for real.